I'm Casey, the Kitchen Chopper, and today I'm going to make a chop that is inspired by a Japanese restaurant that the hubby and I go to. We really love this appetizer that they have, and it's all about crispy rice, a little crispy rice square with some chopped ahi tuna on top of it. So I wanted to take that tasty inspiration and combine it with the other uh, flavors and ingredients that you find in a sushi bar experience. So let's get started. There are three things today that we're going to have to cook. Now that's kind of unusual for a chop, but these are very quick cooking ingredients. So I'm going to do a seared ahi tuna, very rare in the middle, and crispy rice. Now that's a zing factor on the recipe, but please just do it. It doesn't take very long and it just brings everything together and gets that little, little crunch within the chopped. And I'm going to do microwave steamed asparagus. First, you're going to set the oven to 375 for the crispy rice. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to get the cast iron skillet going. You want this really, really hot. So if you have a cast iron skillet, this is the time to use it. And now we're going to prep the asparagus. I'm going to microwave steam it. And what you do with asparagus is you just kind of snap the end off, and that gives you a little template for where to cut them off. And I'm going to do that right now. We're just going to cut through these. And again, I'm making more than I need. You want to leave the asparagus a little wet because that's what's going to help us steam. And I'm actually going to put a little bit of soy sauce on it. into the microwave for one and a half minutes. My pan is almost heated and my asparagus is almost done. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do is start to salt and pepper my ahi. Don't have to do too much to this fish. It's just really tasty all on its own, but nothing wrong with a little flavor. All right, both sides. Asparagus is done. Trust your timers. Open up the lid so it stops cooking. Okay, we've got a really hot pan going. I'm going to put just a little bit of olive oil. And don't worry if it smokes a little bit. It's just the way that it is. All right, so we've got this beautiful ahi tuna steak. About 10 ounces. Into the pan. Woo! Hear that sizzle. That's what you want to hear. You want to cook that about two minutes to three minutes on each side. You want to make sure that it's rare in the middle because if it's cooked all the way through, you may as well just eat tuna out of the can. So watch it closely. Again, check your timers because you've got a lot of stuff going on now and the timers are going to keep you right on track. Ready to flip the ahi. On a nice sear. Right. Oh, that's beautiful. It's just about ready. I'm going to take it off the heat so that it can cool. Okay, let's get that rice going. What I need for that is a cup of brown rice already cooked and rice wine vinegar, a little sprinkle in there, about a teaspoonful and some soy sauce and a little bit of sesame oil. This is really potent so you don't want to use too much but it really does help the rice crisp up and become all nutty and brown. Stir that all together. All right, grab my baking sheet and let's just pour this right out. I'm going to spread this out. This smells so good with the sesame oil in there telling you this is just the best thing to do and it just doesn't take very long at all. This is going to cook for about maybe 10 minutes. I'm going to stir it halfway through. Again, setting my timer. I'm going to set it for five minutes and that's going to remind me to turn the rice. So what are we going to chop? We're going to chop some greens first. I'm going to get this into the bowl. I'm making a portion of four serving chop tonight. So. I thought it would be fun to put some good crunch with hearts of romaine, which I absolutely love. It's got a lot of flavor for a lettuce. And then because I'm going to use some wasabi, spoiler alert, uh, in the dressing, I want to put some spicy arugula. But I'm not going to use a half and half. I'm going to put about three cups of romaine 
into the bowl, chop them and drop them, and about a cup of arugula. Okay, this is going to bring that spice back into our chopped, even though it's not a real Japanese kind of thing, ingredient, but I really like arugula, so I use it quite often. And it's in the fridge, and I don't want it to spoil. So. Okay, in no particular order, I'm just going to grab all these ingredients and chop. So let's get started on just getting all the stuff into the bowl. I'm going to start off with some carrots, crunch in color, as usual. And eh, eight to ten little carrots. You can use a big carrot if you want, but I find that these little guys are great for snacking, so I always have them in my refrigerator. One of my favorite snacks is hummus and baby carrots, so they're always in. Yeah. I'm going to chop them and drop them. green onions. And I'm going to split these because they're actually pretty big. So just chop these up. Okay. We've got rice that I need to turn a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Onions into the bowl. Let me get my rice. A wooden spoon. Oh, yeah, it's looking good. Okay, it's starting to brown and it's starting to pop a little bit. And you'll know when it's starting to get ready. And it gets a nice caramelized brown. Okay, another five minutes on the timer. Okay, and I'm going to use a whole avocado tonight because it's for four people. I'm going to take this part and just take it out from the board. And I'm going to take the seed out with a knife. This is the way I found is the easiest way to do it here. And turn it and make sure you get it all. Chop, run my knife through, okay. chop them, drop them, into the bowl. Ooh, that's going to be good. So what's a sushi bar experience without edamame? Now, when I first was doing this chopped, I actually took the pods and I seeded them and it was just a very much of a hassle. So I decided I'm going to get frozen edamame and you just run it under some hot water, put a little soy sauce on them, and they're great, good to go, about a half cup. Now, going to do some daikon. And daikon radish is something you find at sushi bars all the time. It's usually shredded. I'm going to actually grate it. So we've got the chopped carrots and then we'll have a different texture with the daikon. I'm just going to take this and just grate. And I'm about maybe a quarter of a cup because this is going to add some punch too because it is peppery. Okay we're ready to chop up our ahi and chop up our asparagus. Those are both cool just enough to put them in the bowl. Nice, lovely piece of ahi. Let's just see how we did here. Oh, ho, ho. isn't that beautiful? That is perfect. That's exactly what you want because we're going for the sushi effect. You know, So everybody loves raw tuna in the sushi. So that is just perfect. And we're going to slice that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And one nice thing about using ahi in a chopped is the fact that it's a pretty expensive fish. And this way you only have to use about two ounces per person so everyone can enjoy ahi without breaking the bank. Into the bowl. Ooh, this is just gorgeous. Wow, look at that. This is beautiful. See, rare. Mm -hmm. Okay, my asparagus is cool, and I'm just going to use about half of what I made. And chop that up. Beautiful. And into the bowl. See how easy this is. All right, we're ready to put our cool, crispy brown rice into our chopped. This is nori. This is uh, Japanese dried seaweed. And what would a sushi bar experience be without this? And I actually have this as a zing factor because some people don't like it, but I really love it and I think it just makes the whole sushi roll thing. So the easiest way to deal with this is to fold it up and use your kitchen shears and just cut through just a couple of times. 
then I'm just going to put right in the bowl. Just snip, snip, snip. How easy is that? Oh, caught me. This stuff is really good. I may have to make some extra for snacks. Okay, all we have to do now is make the dressing. I'm going to start off with two tablespoons of mayonnaise. And I find that, as you probably know, that sushi rolls sometimes have mayonnaise. So we're going to bring that flavor into our chopped. And I'm going to add whoop, a little bit of rice wine vinegar, about a tablespoon. This is going to give us some, uh, it's going to thin it out a little bit. I actually have used light mayonnaise. If you want to use regular mayonnaise, that's totally fine too. So it doesn't really matter. Wasabi paste. About two teaspoons of this, but be really careful because it adds quite a hit of heat. So I'm going to whisk this together a little bit. Go nice and smooth, and I'm going to add some soy sauce. Give that a teaspoon of that. Okay, a little taste. It's got quite a bit of heat, but it's really good. And it's going to spread throughout the whole chop. So and I'm just going to spoon a little bit of the dressing in, and then we're going to. Woo! Looks what's coming my way! Ah, the hubby. I love him. As we say in this house, wine with chopped? Absolutely. And a dry white wine is always going to go with this kind of chop. So, cheers. Mm. Oh, God. All right. Pour this in. And as I always tell you, just toss it a lot. Because it's not a lot of dressing, but it is a lot of chop. These colors, wow, some really good nutrition going on, a lot of crunch, got the asparagus in there that's got a lot of vitamins and minerals. Okay, I'm going to serve myself a little bit just to make sure that it all tastes good. And to complete the sushi, sushi bar experience for me, I love pickled ginger. Some people don't like it, I love it. So I'm going to serve myself a little bit of pickled ginger on the side, and then you can serve that to your friends as well, and if they want it, that's great. Okay, and I got my spoon ready. Mmm. Oh my goodness. This is really good. Mmm.